Man, who would have guessed that of all the games that I'd come around to making another tech video for the Penguin Wars of all things. But after playing some games with Jay Mill and actually getting beat up, <laughs> it made me sit down and lab this game out more than I have been, and I finally realized something. There are ways to control, really control the mix-up of a couple of specific throws, one of which being this right here, good old Dazzling Disco Showtime, Riley's uh, Ball Gear, right? So if you don't know anything about it, if you don't know how it works, you'll probably just wind up throwing it, you assume it bounces twice, bounces at your opponent, and then you're done. Uh, you might at some point find out that it'll sometimes bounce one time at your opponent. And you won't know why, but at that point you'll assume it bounces either once or twice. Uh, I I don't know how you come across this, because I've been playing this game for about a month now, and it wasn't until Jay Mill finally decided to play something other than Alex, and he was screwing around, he realized that you can make it bounce three times, and I got demolished by that. So, the way you do that is pretty simple. It depends on where you're holding the analog stick when you release the ball. If you're not holding it, or if you're holding it to the side, left or right, it's going to bounce two times before it goes off at the opponent. Let me get my gear right back. If you are holding forward, I should have used a ham can to show I'm not BS around. If you hold forward when you throw it, like so, it bounces one time. Alright? And if you're holding back when you throw it, it bounces three times. A uh, little small tidbit about Riley specifically. I haven't, like, looked to see if Dylan does this. Uh, it's not a big deal. Uh, this is a real subtle thing to notice. Uh, if Riley is holding to either the far angle, like far left or far right, and he holds down, the ball's going to go to the other side. So that's kind of a tell if Riley's doing uh, the three ball for Dazzling Disco Showtime. So, like, he's angled to the right right now on the player one side, on the left side. If I hold down right here, the ball's going to go off his hand to the left. It's going to go away from the arrow. Like so. It's not the same for two ball or two bounce. It's not the same for one bounce. Uh, the true answer to this, if you're playing Riley, is to just throw the ball straight when you do the gear because, well, it's going to go to a side either way. It's not your problem anymore. It's your opponent. So the one ball. Hey. So yeah, that's a little bit of the tech. And real quick. Just to show that uh, I'm not talking out my side when I say this also applies to Dylan. Because J-Mill asked this, and I didn't have an answer for this. Like I, I just thought this was kind of a random thing. With Dylan, his strong, uh, his strong throw is the bounce throw, right? And the ball will bounce two, three, or four times, depending on where you're holding. So if you're not holding a direction, or you're holding to the side, it'll bounce three times. One, two, three, and then go. Do it again. Each Nino Sun, right? Each Nissan, whatever. If you're holding forward, it'll be two times. Uno, dos, and then go. One more time. Uno, dos, and then go. Uh, if you're holding back, it's gonna be four. I don't have a good one for this. One, two, three, four. Alright. Dylan, knowing this gets to be a bit of a mix-up master, because his, I think it's actually called wave throw. His bounce throw is also his ball gear. Same thing applies. So when you gear up, you're holding forward, right? One, two, stair problem. You're holding back. How many is it? You know it. Count it. One, two, three, four. Ah. You're not holding a direction. It's going to be three. Yeah, that's it. Penguin Wars Tech. Who would have known that there's depth to some crazy game like this? The game's fun. Catch you next time. Peace.